The next generation molecular workbench is using the same molecular dynamics simulation engine, but now running completely within a web browser. We want to take our past success with our molecular workbench project to create really in-depth, innovative simulations in physics and chemistry and biology and bring them to the web to make them more accessible to people. One of the advantages of having our materials run in the web browser is that it makes it very easy to share what you're looking at, to build new digital curricular materials, it's as easy as clicking a link, gives you some code to paste right into your course builder or blog post or whatever, and our materials will just show up and run right there. You can customize that, set what size you want it to be. Teachers can look at the library of simulations that we've created and decide what lesson they'd like to build around that simulation. The materials themselves scale really nicely. Everything we're doing is vector-based graphics, so it doesn't matter how large or small, everything will look nice and sharp. We want people to know that it's really simple to take an interactive and be able to copy a small piece of code and embed it in your blog or in your learning management system. I think we're set to explode into a much wider range of applications and reaching a much wider audience of people and getting more and more people excited about learning.